I believe. The mantra of Dion coach Prime Sanders and the Jackson State Tigers may have started as just a motto. I love it. it ain't nothing like this. It ain't never been part of nothing like this, man. But it's grown into a full on movement. Y'all just now catching on to it. We been believe. And while we've seen guys like James and Shiloh and Shador come together under the I Believe mantra all season long, believe, one, three, believe, one, three. One, two, three. believe. the Tigers also have one of North Carolina's top prep school prospects from the class of 2021, believing in the mission of the I Love so much that he sacrificed all his scholarship offers for a chance to walk on at Jackson State. My name is Roger Gray. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. I play running back. We first met Roger Gray, affectionately known as Drick, as the younger brother of CIAA basketball great Roger Ray in our 2019 docu-series, Garage Made. Old pool road, that's the road we stayed on when we stayed in the garage. I actually let my mom and my little brother had a couch, I had a floor, but that's where it all started at. And we kind of hit rock bottom at one point, we sleeping on the floor, you know, not eating a lot. It's kind of emotional for me. And as his brother's legendary career at Livingstone came to a close, it was now Drick's turn to create his legacy. And he ended up doing just that as a two-sport, both sides of the ball monster at North Raleigh Christian Academy. On offense, he amassed 1,300 plus all-purpose yards in two seasons, averaging over 100 yards per game on the ground as a senior. On defense, how about 171 total tackles in 17 games, averaging 10 plus tackles a game during his final season. But as a recruit during the COVID era, it was hard to find a home as a freshman coming into the 2021 season. Recruiting with COVID and everything got slowed down. As I started taking off as a player, a lot of camps and stuff wasn't available. But I, my senior campaign, I was one of the best players in the state. I took a visit to uh, UNC Charlotte. St. Aug got offered me, UNLV was interested. Really for me, the decision wasn't hard at all. Um, I wasn't set on one school uh, after my senior year, so once uh, Coach Prime came out, said he coming to uh, Jackson State, um, I, I really, I really just, I seen that as an opportunity, and I said this is where I want to go, this is where I want to play, no, no matter uh, what I got to do to get in the door or what I got to uh, do to play for them. That's what, that's what I said. That's who I want to play for, and so when I made my commitment. My commitment was, I'm coming to Jack State and this is where I'm going to play for and I'm going to do whatever I got to do to get on the field. My mom always told me, have faith like potatoes. So like potatoes, you can't see them while you water, while you, water. you can water potatoes for months and months and months. You can't see them because they grow under the dirt. So that's, that's what really, really my mindset come from, having faith like potatoes, faith like a mustard seed. When you can't see something, you still got to believe, like Coach Brown said, I, I believe. When he says things like that, like I really believe in myself and I believe in what the work I put in. I believe the type of player I am, so that's why I came here, because I know the impact I can have. First of all, I knew I had to come early, so I got here in the second session of the uh, summer school. I, uh, <laughs> I, I had found out through uh, Herman Smith, one of the uh, players here, I um, DM'd him asking when the trials were. Came in one day where, when I thought trials was, because he had gave me a date. Got a jersey, got a uh, got some shorts, and went on the field. I was on the field uh, stretching with them and all, about to, about to practice, get ready for summer session. And uh, they was like, "What's your name, son?" And they'll tell my name and everything. They was like, "Oh, oh uh, yeah, let me talk to you real quick." They pulled me off to the side and stuff. He was like, well, "I can get you with the equipment team, and then you will have a better opportunity when uh, the trial time comes." And as Drick continues to work his way towards the Jackson State roster, taking a year off from the game he loves hasn't been easy. But overcoming adversity is built into Roger Gray's DNA. And relying on his faith has helped him see the positives of being around the Jackson State program, even if he's not technically on the team. Being away from football, the game I love, it's been really hard. Uh, I done cried a lot. Had a lot of days where I didn't, you know, didn't wanna didn't wanna do this. Being, you know, being around the team and stuff is kind of hard. Not being in like actually inside of it, but um really I'm just taking it day by day and just think about the positive aspect where I'm here, but I'm around greats all the time. I'm around Hall of Fame coaches. I'm around Hall of Fame players. And I'm meeting people, Coach Prime being, bringing people in and out. So I'm just getting game from them, learning how to get better as a player. So I had to take the negative side of it and make everything a positive. So I can be here pouting and worry about playing, or I could just, I could take advantage of my opportunity being around Coach Prime and great players and grab all the tools I need from them to make myself better. So that's how I looked at it. I get to upgrade myself as a person 
outside of football because I want to be a great person too. So I'm just getting prepared so when God does elevate me to this level I'm about to go to, I'm prepared on and off the field to be who I'm supposed to be. Now I'm not gonna lie, it's great. Like, like being around Coach Prime, like it's like unreal. He like got a little, he got an aura about him. Like, and he just always smiling. He's always positive. He really reminds me a lot of my mom the way he talks and things. That's why I'm really comfortable here, and I understand. And a lot of I take every lesson every time he speaks. I make sure I run and go listen because he's the type of person that I want to be around. He's the type of person that can get me to where I'm trying to go and my goals and. And even if I was willing to sacrifice, even after have to sacrifice a year of my career to hear the words this man has to say and things like that, I'm willing to do it because I know he can, what he has to say can take me, take me further than I ever thought I can go. So I believe, I believe he, being around him ha has elevated me already to another level. And being around his team has been great. There's there a lot of nice guys, they are friendly. They uh, help you if you need help, talk to you, you know what I'm saying? I talk to a lot of guys about football and things and life and things. Maybe they've helped me out and they know a lot. Uh, some of the guys on the team know what I'm trying to do and they, uh, you know, just to give me encouragement and things like that. So it's like I'm part of the team, really. It's like being on tour. We just going city to city, doing, handling our business and then having fun. And then you have like a lot of big name guys, Shador, Shiloh, and they're, they're all cool people off the field. So it's cool getting to know them outside of the limelight and things like that. And while Drake is all in on the I Believe mission of Coach Prime in Jackson State, he also has that same level of belief in himself. And you should expect to see Roger Gray coming out of somebody's backfield real soon. Hopefully, with Jackson State stitched across the front of the jersey. It's gonna mean everything. Um, I'm playing for I'm playing for legacy, so I gotta create my own legacy and also I have to stem the legacy of my family. So it's gonna mean everything. Uh, I see my I, I study a lot of the greats, uh, Walter Payton, Barry Sanders, and things like that. And I want to be in that stature, Deion Sanders. I want to be in that type of guy. So that's the mentality I'm bringing to the field, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to to make that make that happen. Uh, my motto is hustle, heart, will. That's that's what that's how I, that's what I bring to the game. Also, with with uh, skill on top of that.